Now we'll leave the stage to Daniel. Yeah, thank you. Please, we'll talk about the status of C file. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm glad to have the opportunity to uh, introduce C file status and uh, the outlook. So C file is a cloud storage software focused on reliability and uh, performance. We provide sync and share as well as the virtual drive access. And uh, CFAO was started back in 2009 um, when we were stu students in Tsinghua University in Beijing. At that time, we wanted to build a P2P sharing platform, both for messages and the file sharing. Um, but later, we changed the architecture design to focus on file sharing and use a centralized architecture. In, 2000, in 2012, we started the company C File Limited and uh, made our first release in November uh, that year. And in the October 2013, Waperto Institution in Germany became our first uh, educational customer in Europe. Um, the important feature for them is uh, undertwined file encryption. And uh, in the next year, Mainz University began using C-File and we, work, we began to work together closely to provide features important to educational institutions. Uh, and currently, there are near 20 educational customers in Europe and North America. So this is the map, map of C-File Community Edition. Uh, we, have, we have two cool universities from Finland and, uh, and uh, um, Humboldt University and the Mainz University in Germany, and the INRIA and the University of Strasbourg in France, and the uh, MC Master University in Canada. So CFAO features, CFAO has uh, comprehensive features that are common in cloud storage software, like uh, desktop syncing, mobile clients, and user group sharing, online co-editing, file versioning, file locking, and uh, um, share links and virus support. So C file uh, features for, we have some features special for educational institutions, um, such as shipless authentication and the low-based feature control. You can have guest roles, staff roles, and the student roles. And uh, the um, staff can invite guests to the system without having to ask the admin the administrations to administrators to do so. And uh, we support multi-institution administration and the client-side encryption and the drive client for working on workstations. The so multi-institution administration is for use cases such as multi-universities using the same C file instance. So uh, we get you the user's institution from the shipless attribute. So you can know uh, which uh, so you, which, use, which institution a user belong to. And uh, each institution can have its own admins. The admins can manage the users and the files for their own institution. For the client-side encryption, um, users can create encrypted library in C file. And the files put in the encrypted library are encrypted first before uploading to the server. So even, even the system admin can't read the file content. So this is suitable for public cloud storage or semi-public cloud storage, uh, such as storage used in universities. So the C drive client is a new feature we introduced recently. Uh, so you, with this client, you don't need to sync files before access. So it is, work, it is um, better to be used in workstations where you can just log in and access files and log out after logout, local cache the files are deleted immediately. So uh, our current status is that both the server program and the syncing client are stable and mature. And we release a new major version um, every year for the server every year. The older version will be maintained for six months to give customers and users enough time to make right. And uh, we keep compatibility with old versions uh, um, as best as we can. And the upgrade to a new version can be done with a simple script. 
So for the for the future, uh, in this year we will focus on improve improve the stability of the drive client and release drive client for Linux and uh, Mac. So currently it works stable on Windows 10 in local network with time bad waiters, but robustness in ILO handling is still needed. We expect to have a Linux version in the first half year of 2017. And we also have a plan to provide a cache server. Uh, it's like a content delivery network. It is for geologically distributed institutions where the network between, between multi-sites are, are limited. So files will be cached to local server and uh, authentication, authentication will be performed at the local server before access. Will, and it will be transparent to end users. For the server side, we will focus on adding features according to feedbacks from customers, but uh, we, will, um, keep, uh, we will keep it lightweight and easy to maintain. Currently, uh, we store both the metadata and uh, file, file data on the, as, object, as objects in object storage, so there is no big database is needed and uh, no database turning is needed. So it's, it is interesting to compare the architecture of C file and with the architecture of sandbox. Uh, in C file, it can be viewed that we build a special file system based on object storage uh, for, file, for the purpose of file syncing and uh, sharing. In sandbox, uh, it can be viewed that they build a, a, a general storage system, a general storage file system for both work both file sync and share and uh, other workloads, traditional workloads, such as NFS access. Um, they are approach, they are, uh, in C file, we, we, offload, we offload the generating of metadata into the clients. So the clients will, will generate file, um, file hash code and uh, other metadata and, uh, and upload to the server. So uh, this, this uh, task is CPU intensive, so we offload these tasks into the clients. This is another reason why C file has a, a better performance. Uh, in sandbox, uh, the, the server is, is the server use our all in memory, all in memory structure design. So all the metadata are stored in memory, and uh, so the performance is also is also okay. So compared to Dropbox, Dropbox. Uh, as we learned uh, uh, yesterday, they, they, use, they, they also have a bigger metadata stored in database, but they have a special team, uh, a dedicated team for doing, doing database sharding and uh, other optimization. So, so the performance for them is also okay, but uh, it, can't, uh, it can't be used in most universities because uh, in most universities, so, uh, you have limited staff and uh, you have a lot of system to maintain, and the time is limited. So thank you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Daniel. Are there any questions? Okay, well, let's start with Danilo. Hi, so um, I saw one feature which is very interesting, is the client-based encryptions of the files. So you encrypt before uploading into the storage. Uh, and um, yes. is, uh, how do you see uh, this feature? Do you think it's a speciality of yours or do you see the possibility that uh, other clients like StarCloud um, clients can implement this in an easy way? Uh, was it a lot of effort to put in uh, this feature? I think they can implement, implement this feature too, but uh, um, it requires some change in, in the UI or, or you, have, you have to teach users. Because in C file, we, we introduce another level called libraries. So you, you can have encrypted libraries, encrypted libraries, and you will know if you put a file in this library, they will be encrypted. Um, in other systems, they don't have this concept. So if uh, they can, they can impl implement this feature too, but they have to introduce a new concept. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Ugo, you have a question, right? So my question is around basically the same, 
do you support end-to-end -end encryption, but uh, it's just only from the SIM client point of view, or do you also support end-to-end -end encryption for um, the virtual drive and the web user interface? Uh, no, we, we don't implement uh, it for the web interface, um, but uh, we implement it in the mobile clients and uh, uh, the C drives, or C the new drive client we also support it. Mm -hmm. And the virtual drive, does it support end-to-end uh, -end encryption also or not? Uh, at the current uh, no. We don't okay. show incorruptibility at the drive client. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. I have another question. So about the cache server, that's quite interesting. Do you have some policy? So when a user, the geographical one. Uh, so, so which policy do you use for this case in order to cache the files in a different location? Uh, the policy currently we think is that um, once the file access, once the file is uploaded at, at a set site, it will be cached and it will be based on the access time, the last access time. Okay, you do an yeah. LRU. Yeah, yes. Okay. yes. Are there any other questions? So apparently not. So let's thank Daniel. <laughs>